Hello guys, welcome to the new episode of Daily Dose. Today I'll be telling you how to find quickly in two minutes the deformation of a step bar. Guys, I hope you all know the deformation of this kind of bar is delta is equal to PL by AE. But this formula can be applied only for those sections where area is constant. Okay, area is constant. Okay, now suppose this is a stat bar here area here is something else here is something else here is something else now how to find the deformation now first of all the total deformation will be delta of 1 plus delta of 2 plus delta of 3 I am taking this as third bar this is a second and this is a first bar of course guys the total elongation of Abhinav Negi from the childhood up to now is elongation of my legs plus upper body plus my head of course. So similarly here delta total will be delta 1 plus delta 2 plus delta 3. Now first of all reaction see P1 and P3 is going downward. So for balancing the upward reaction will be P1 plus P3 because P3 and P1 is going downward downward. So upward reaction will be P1 plus P3 for balancing these two. Now for P2 upward the reaction should be P2 downward and P2 downward can be written as upward minus P2. Now there are various ways from which we can find out the deformation of this. Let me tell you the easiest way. First cut a section here in the first bar. Okay. Now delta 1 will be C. Either C from top or bottom. The away going forces from the section is plus and towards coming the section is minus. Now P1 is going away. So away means tension. So P1, L1, A1, E1 for this whole bar. For this whole bar 1 area is constant so we can apply this formula. If you see from top also guys P1 plus P3 minus P2 is going upward away from my hand away from the section so plus. So P3 is coming so minus P3 that will be cancelled out remaining is P1 minus P2. Again P2 is going above that means plus. So P1 minus P2 plus P2 again it will be P1. So either you see from top or from bottom it will be same. Now this will be delta 1. Now going for delta 2. See here delta 2. Cut a section in the second. C from top or bottom, C let's see from bottom, P1 going away, so plus P2 coming in towards it, so minus. So P1 minus P2 into L2, A2, E2. This formula can be applied because for the whole bar 2, area is constant. If you see from top also, this as plus because going away from the section, this is coming inside, so minus. So this P3 will be cancelled out. Again, it will be P1 minus P2. So you see from top or bottom, it will be same. Now, going for the section 3, it is easier to see from top. Why to see from bottom? All, all the answer will be same. So from top, it will be P1 plus P3 minus P2 into L3 by A3 E3. This is the deformation of the third and total deformation is delta 1 plus delta 2 plus delta 3. Now, guys, this is the deformation of total bar or the movement of or the displacement of this point T. Can you tell me? How to find the displacement of any other point, maybe here alpha, this alpha point displacement, this beta, this gamma, this delta. Please let me know on the comment section. Thank you guys. Take care.